welcome to a brand new episode of Z Connect Season 3 Are You Connected? Starting the evening with a positive thought. The beauty of time is that it cannot be wasted in advance. The next year, the next day, the next hour are lying ready just for you. So be your best in every bit of it. We have an exciting episode lined up just for you. Starting with the extremely talented Benny Dayal. Followed by the solutions of hair loss with Neeta Herbal. But first, let's start with the buzz of the week with DJ Shadow. Shadow. Welcome to the buzz of the week segment where we have one of the most talked about celebrities or socialites of the UAE coming to talk to you about the most happening news in the region. we have with us the Masala Award winner for the Best Asian DJ 2012, DJ Shadow. Hi and welcome to Z Connect. Thank you, Kalindi. It's great being here. So tell us, how did the entire journey start for you? Well, music has always been a passion, uh, but uh, it's been a long journey. Started back in 2003 while I was an engineering student. Uh, uh, I realized I was in the wrong scheme of things. So moved into the nightlife industry, uh, started doing events. Uh, so lots of DJs performing live and uh, the fame they attracted. Uh, so the glamour was what attracted me to the uh, to DJing first, but uh, soon the passion for music took over, and uh, it's been uh, it's been quite a journey uh, playing from some of the smallest clubs in Dubai to now playing some in, to in some of the exotic spots all around the world. What are the highlights for 2012 and which concerts did you personally attend? 2012 has been a year to talk about. Uh, UA has witnessed some of the biggest concerts, some of the biggest names, including Eminem, uh, Madonna, J-Lo, uh, Imran Khan, RGB, Yo Yo Hani Singh performing live. And the feedback from the crowd has been exceptional. And I've also seen personally seen uh, some of the artists shoot to fame overnight. Shadow. What can we expect in the near future? Bigger concerts, bigger names, uh, Justin Bieber performing. Uh, it's great to see that the tickets to the concert have actually sold out overnight. Uh, people have also taken a stand against piracy. They've started accepting new sounds. Uh, this is definitely a buzz factor. Uh, one of the examples obviously being Gangnam Style, over a billion hits on YouTube. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to see uh, which artists or what new sounds are going to become big this year. Thank you so much for joining us today and any message before leaving? Thank you Kalindi, a message to all the people watching. I'm really grateful to them for accepting the new sounds, uh, the evolution and I'm really looking forward to how this positively impacts the future. Well that summarizes our chat with DJ Shadow on Buzz of the Week. The music, the musty, the remixes, let's hope 2013 is larger than 2012. Moving on, we caught up with Shashank Mittal and his loving family on our Z Family segment. Love adds value to our heart, respect adds worth to our behavior, and family adds love to our life. So let's go ahead and meet with one such loving Z Family, which adds meaning to this feature, the Mittal family. Shashank and Nidhi Mittal, a couple well-knitted with their Indian values, along with their two kids, Nishta and Zivan, do not just showcase togetherness, but immense admiration for each other. Let's get to know your family a little better. We're the Mittals. We are a family of four. Uh, my father, he is, his name is Shashank Mittal, and my mother is Nidhi Mittal. She is a homemaker. I am Nishtha Mittal. I study in grade 9 in the Indian High School. My brother, he is 4 years old and his name is Vivan Mittal. He is going to the British Orchard Nursery. Describe your family for us in one line. In one line, I would say that we are very close to each other. We love each other a lot and we are very caring towards each other. We represent togetherness and unity. Or Vivan, kya bolega? I love my family. Welcome to Z Connect. Thank you very much. Welcome to our home. 
Well, Nisha and Vivan gave us a lovely introduction about your family. So how about we get to know both of you better? Definitely. How long has it been in the UAE for you? It's been eight wonderful years. Please describe the blissful moments that you've shared with your family. Well, I think the most blissful moment of my life was when my daughter was born. It was the month of January, very cold indeed in Delhi. And uh, on the third day, there was a bit of sun. And I sat in the sun with my daughter. And for the first time, she opened out her fist. And her little fingers opened out like the opening of a flower. And that's something which I can never forget in my life. The moment that I recall for me, the most blissful moment was when uh, I got to know that I've conceived Vivan. That too after a gap of 11 years. I was very, very happy and excited to know this. I immediately called everybody in India and everybody was so happy. That was uh, something I can never forget. And, uh, and I think as a family, we went to Switzerland uh, with Vivan. That was his first vacations with him. And uh, both my children, they had so much fun throwing snow at each other. That was blissful. That was really nice to uh, see both of them. Uh, yeah, well, my mom told you about the snow and yeah, it was the first time I had seen snow and staying in the desert, we uh, hardly get to see snow. So, do you guys watch ZTV? Yes, of course we do. Uh, we grew up watching Hampanch and Antakshri and now I watch uh, Saregamapa and uh, I also like to see the serial Punarveva. Uh, me and my mom, uh, we really enjoy watching Z Khana Khazana. Uh, it's yeah. the longest running cookery show and we really get loads of recipes from there. And uh, me and my brother watch the Dance India Dance Little uh, Champs a lot and we used to wait for that uh, every week. Well, I've known ZTV longer than I've known my wife. It's a fabulous channel. <laughs> and actually the best part about Z is that the programs are value based. There is a social message and that's the reason why I'm comfortable with my family watching it, my children watching it. Now that we're done with this serious question, let's have some fun. Let's see how well you guys know each other. Your husband's favourite food? Uh, my husband loves uh, all South Indian food, idli, dosa. Mama's favourite colour? I think it's purple. Perfect. Your wife's favourite actor? Her favourite is Salman Khan. <laughs> yes. Husband's favourite movie? I think Zubeda. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> what does mom tell Vivan all the time? Uh, always behave yourself, stop jumping around. <laughs> Your wife's favourite shopping item? Bags. She has dozens <laughs> of them. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you on Z Family. Thank, Thank you. you. That was the Mittal family on our Z family segment. After this break, we're going to have a candid conversation with Benny Dayal. So be right back. Well, you're watching Z Connect Season 3. Are you connected? Hope you have your coffee and munchies right in front of you because we have an exciting lineup of events. Starting off with the first Instagram exhibition with Emirates NBD. Emirates NBD, a leading bank in the region, announced the launch of the region's first Instagram exhibition and competition as a part of its activities to celebrate the 41st National Day in the UAE. 41 entries celebrating 41 years of the UAE were selected for participating in the two-week exhibition. The competition was evaluated by a panel which includes judges selected by Fujifilm Middle East and an Emirates NBD representative. And the top three winners were awarded cutting-edge Fujifilm cameras. This is part of the uh, National Day celebration where we have run a competition on, on Instagram. So actually we made it uh, for public to take uh, different photos to send it to our account through Instagram. Uh, we've received more than uh, 1,000 entries and those are the 41 voted like uh, victors. We've surely seen that Emirates NBD can make an artist out of anyone. Moving forward, did you know that the budding singer Benny Dayal was raised in Abu Dhabi? Let's go meet him and have a candid chat. Hi 
Hi, Benny. Welcome to Z Connect. Thank you so much. Please tell us about your journey with all the music directors, especially Mr. A.R. Rahman. Yeah, um, I started my uh, career with Mr. A.R. Rahman, and uh, Rahman sir gave me my biggest breakthrough movies like uh, in Tamil. Actually, I started first movies like Arigat Tamil Magan, and uh, then my first movie in Hindi was Jani Toya Jani Na. Uh, but yeah, besides that, it was um, you know like I was I was struggling a lot after I finished my masters in um, in journalism, and I took up a job as an HR. I had packed up all my plans to become a musician, and I was like. That's it, you know. Like it's not going to work out because I'm pushing myself, and nothing was working out for me. And um, I took up a job, and I joined the job. And three days into the job is when uh, I got a call from a studio. I I'd never met him. I never given him a demo. So it was a complete miracle. Wow. And uh, from there, it was no looking back. And uh, there used to be times when he used to tell me, like, you know, please quit your job. And uh, when I quit my job, he was the first one to congratulate me personally because uh, he was like, I'm so happy you did this because whatever you have recorded right now for me, when it comes out, uh, everyone else is going to call you for your work and stuff like that. And that's exactly what happened. I started working with all the other uh, composers like Harris Jara, Jimmy Prakash, Yuvan Shankar Raja, Vidya Sagar, and then Salim Suleiman, Preetam, Amit Trivedi, and Vishal and Shekhar. So it's been a great journey. It's, it's, it's nice to meet all the musicians because, uh, you know, they all have their individual styles of working. And to adapt yourself into it makes you move a style and makes you... Uh, understand the style of working of people and you know makes you a flexible artist so uh, that's been my journey as of now so that was our disco divane superstar benny dayal taking it from there a lot of us complain about hair loss in the UAE. Some blame their diet, some blame the water. But Neeta from Neeta Herbal says that no matter what the problem, she has the solution. Suffering from hair loss? Tried a lot of product but nothing works? This can happen to any one of us. We are in conversation with Neeta, the founder of Neeta's Herbal. And she is going to share with us her experience and also share with us remedies and solution for hair loss, isn't it? Yes, very much. Hi, Nita, how are you? Very good. Welcome on our show. Thank you. Yeah. Nita, tell us what led you to start on Nita's Herbal? It was my personal experience which I actually have undergone. I had severe hair loss problem at the age of 17. And I seek treatment with all the other centers. I've tried with the doctors, I've tried with the trichologists but nothing really worked on me until I landed in India to find a solution with a herbal therapy. Nita, uh, what are the hair problems that people usually suffer and come to you and what are the treatments that one can avail at Nita's herbal? The common hair problems are like uh, alopecia areata, thinning, balding, alopecia totalis, alopecia universal. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have dandruff, itchiness, rashes, psoriasis condition, pimples on the scalp and things like that. Now what we do at Nita's herbal is generally we do blood circulation treatment. Uh, followed with the oil massage. The oil massage is to relax the client and we follow with the steaming session. Steaming is to open up the pores to allow the oil into the follicles. This will activate the follicles and bring out new hairs for your scalp condition. At the same time, we also apply the herbs to remove the body heatiness and that will give the, the hair texture an improvement as well as removal of body heatiness. And after that, of course, the hair wash is done and proper products application like the tonic, the hair oil, as well as the ointment is applied. Nita's Herbal is surely a one-stop solution for all your hair problems. That was the perfect solution for hair loss in the UAE with Nita Herbal. Take a break and we'll be right back with the perfect cuisines with Pedia Shaw. Welcome back to Z Connect Season 3. Are you connected? Pedia Shaw and Chef Akshay have come up with a yummy remedy for your picky eaters in Cuisine Central. 
it is very important that your child receives the right amount of nutrition to enhance his performance in school. Otherwise, he'll get dull and not interested in his studies. So today, we are going to show you some very exciting recipes with PediaShow that contains omega-3, omega-6, zinc, iodine, taurine and choline to improve his brain development. So we are joined today by Chef Akshay. Hi Kalandi, welcome to the show. Thank you. The recipe which we are going to try today is a chocolate kulfi with a berry sabayong. For chocolate kulfi with berry sabayong, we need 200 grams of chocolate, 1 liter of milk full fat, 20 grams of breakfast sugar, 100 ml of condensed milk, 5 scoops of PediaSure chocolate flavor, berry sauce, fresh berries which will be chopped and some pistachio for garnish. Berry and chocolate is like a jodi make in the heaven. So let's go. So now you can see the milk is boiling slowly. So simmer the flame and now is the time to add the breakfast sugar. And uh, how many spoons of sugar do we add? This is 20 grams, so almost uh, one and a half tablespoon. Usually you add almost uh, 150 grams to one liter of milk, but uh, because the chocolate already has sugar, and moreover the pediasho which we are going to add to this is also flavored with sugar. So kulfi has to be, you know, very thick, like a rubbery, and it should melt in your mouth, very creamy. So that's the main pleasure of eating a kulfi. So now the sugar is done, is the time to add the dark chocolate easily available in the market. I'm using the one with 72% cocoa content. So you can see the milk is ready. So now is the time to add some condensed milk. This will give a little more body. So you can see and you can smell the aroma that's coming off. The cocoa, the beautiful aroma. Fragrance is your kitchen. So now you can see the milk is reduced and you have a thick solution. Over here. So when are we going to add the Pediasure? Yes, that's a very important thing. Never add Pediasure and things like this to a very hot solution that can disintegrate the properties. So we will allow the product to cool down a little bit and then add the Pediasure. So we'll allow it to cool now because it's ready. So leave it for 15 minutes and then you'll be right back. So now that it's cooled down, can we add the Pediasure? Yeah, sure, definitely. And we take the chocolate one, right? Exactly. You have different flavors in the market. You have honey, you have vanilla. But we use the chocolate because this will go very well with the balance of the taste. And you said three scoops. Exactly. It gives even more thickness to the, the sauce and forms the body. So not only this, I'm so excited about this product that I have even started using at my restaurant in Signature. Whenever the kids come, usually the parents are saying, you know, junk food of restaurant is not good for my child. So I always ensure them that there is enough nutrition in the food and children enjoy the flavor. So all parents can trust PediaSure? Definitely. So now is the time to put this in a mold. And so I have a kulfi mold with me. And uh, you have different kinds of available in the market. You have different shapes. So whichever pleases your child can be used. So you see this. You can see the creaminess of the product. This shows how good the kulfi texture will be. So it's done. Put the cap and put it in a deep freezer. It would take almost 18 to 24 hours to freeze this kulfi. You can always freeze it overnight and enjoy it the next day. So now that the PediaSure chocolate kulfi is ready, what's next? Definitely, we need to unmold this. So take a knife and just swirl it around the border of the kulfi and it will come out very smoothly. Just see the texture of the kulfi, something like divine. So now is the time to garnish the dish and present it. So I have the berry sauce, which I'll just swirl over my kulfi. And uh, I chopped the strawberry that you gave me. Sure, sure. Very nice. So some beautiful strawberries, very fresh, will go as a garnish. So I have some assorted berries and some currants, which I'm going to put in the plate. Wow, that looks delicious. Definitely. And not the least, some pistachios on the side. So you can see so many colors on the plate. And finally, my favorite chocolate. So you can see how simple the dish is and so good to eat and so nice to see. And the Pediasho chocolate kulfi with berry sabayo is ready.
for chocolate kulfi with berry samayo here's a quick recap boil the milk and simmer the milk as you add sugar dark chocolate and condensed milk one by one stir well each time cook until the mixture turns thicker and allow it to cool for a while now add the pedia sure chocolate milk powder after 15 minutes transfer the mixture to the mold freeze the kulfi overnight and serve it with the berry sauce and some freshly chopped berries so let's have a healthy drink that will fill the gap in your child's nutrition so chef yeah definitely so which flavor are you going to try today why don't we try vanilla definitely very nice flavors you have three available you have vanilla honey and chocolate and how many scoops five scoops so 190 ml of water which can be cold or room temperature now is the time to stir the best property of the product is it stirs very nicely very smooth mixture no lumps so it's ready why don't you try a sip of this sure why not please yum this is excellent if you wish to win a kitchen cookware set then all you have to do is answer a simple question one glass of water should have how many spoons of pedia sure to make it a wholesome drink so that was a pedia sure snack that was fun to prepare and eat good luck with your picky eater until next time Well, this sums up tonight's episode on Z Connect. Until next week, this is your host Kalindi signing off.